Hello everyone, Sharif Abuzid here with a new video. A few days ago, I published a video about how you can use the Wishlist Member plugin to create a membership website for your online business. And today I want to show you how you can create custom registration pages for this or that membership level. This can be a very handy feature if you want to collect certain information from your members. Uh, but actually you, to create a custom registration page for this or that membership level, you need to create a membership level First, I'm going to quickly set up a membership level. If you want to know the details of creating membership levels, please go back to my previous video. So let's create a membership level. To create one, you need to go to your wishlist member tab, then select setup, and let's click this plus button to add a new membership level. And let's call this one free level. So let's give this a name like free, free level. And let's click apply. As I mentioned, I'm not going through the details of creating membership levels. Please go back to my previous video. Now, to create a new registration uh, form, we need to go to the advanced options. And then we need to go to the uh, registration tab here. And we can, actually, we can actually create a custom registration form from this window by clicking add custom registration form. And here we can give this a name. So let's call this free, free members members let's go members form and let's click apply now this is the default registration form of wish this member uh, if you want to edit any of these fields you can just click this hidden button here and maybe you need to change maybe the username you can change this to when this once you click here you can change the label to be anything you want you can set the width of the uh, username as well um, if you go to the email, you, again, you can click here, you can set up the width of the email, you can add a description for this label, of course, you can change the label, let's say uh, your email, let's say this, and let's click close. If you want to add certain fields to this registration form, you can choose from a special fields, maybe you need to add your terms of service, uh, maybe you need to add a header, you need to add a paragraph, of course, again, you can add a text, text box, drop down, uh, drop down list radio buttons, checkboxes, or even a hidden field. You can add your first name, website. Maybe you can ask people to add their website from here. If you want to add biographical bi bi information, and again, you can choose, you can add their address, first name, uh, uh, maybe country. You can add all of these. If you need to add some drop down list, you just drag and add it here. And then you can click the edit button to choose uh, how you can, how you like to um, uh, change this. Maybe you need to collect the job information. So let's call this uh, employment status, employment status. And let's just, just choose two options. The, number one, let's call student, student. And option two, let's say employee. Okay. And you can add, of course, a description here. You can make this even required field and then click close. And then you need, let's close this from here. Let's close this from here. And then you click save and close. And also we can actually customize the registration button. So let's click here and let's say register for free. And let's click save as well. So these are the fields that I like to use. Now we need to connect this registration form with our membership level. To do this, we need to go back to our membership itself. So let's go back to our membership level and let's click edit. And under the uh, registrations, we need to enable the custom registration form. So let's click here. And then we can choose our form from here. And I need to make some other um, option, which is this, this field or this membership level will be restricted only to new members only and now we have our membership level and also we have our registration form ready to be used now we need to create a new page and add this registration page to our uh, page at, as well so let's go go to our page and let's click add new and let's call this free member or free level free level uh, form form and now to add the form itself we can actually click here. We can, you can use this if you are using Divi, if you're using Elementor, and um, some other uh, page builders as well. But I'm using the default 
WordPress block editor. So, and also I'm using the cadence block. So I'll just click just to make this a style. So I just click add. I will add a row and make this two columns and then click here and search for classic. This is the classic block. Let's click here. And I will choose the, the wish list number icon and choose short codes. I will click registration forms. And then if you have multiple uh, multiple membership levels, you can you need just to choose the level that you need to add your registration form for here. I'm choosing the form level and I will click um, this. I think this is, let me just take this away. Um, I think now we are, so let's click here. Uh, actually, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We need to click short codes, registration forms, click and click insert uh, short code. Now we have our form ready here. Let's add some, let's add some um, information or a heading before this. Let's click add after. Before it's called this sign up, sign up here. And let's make this above and let's convert this into a heading. Of course, we can add some. Uh, paragraph here would say um, make sure or add correct information of course you can add some any information that you like to add for this sign up form here and let's add an image so let's add an image Look here select an image let's select this image let's click select and now we have our form and let's add this is just this is just a styling uh, page Let's call, choose our layout and let's add a background of this. And let's give this a padding. And let's click publish. Publish. And let's open this page in a new tab. And let's see. Okay, so this is our registration form. Of course, you can make this much better. You know what? I like to remove this page, just this image. So let's go to the layout. And let's go to our layout and let's make this one one column and let's remove. I don't like the page. It doesn't look fine. Let's click update and let's update the page. And now this is our uh, form for our uh, membership level. Of course, we can add just let's try to add a username. So let's say user name Sharif Sharif. And let's choose employee and let's add our email here. Let's set a password. And let's click register for free and see what will happen. We need to have, we have an error message that says the password should be at least eight characters. Of course, you can set up the length of the password inside the password field itself. So let's add another password here and let's add this here and let's click registration and now i am redirected into my dashboard and i am already registered for this membership level so this is how easy you can create a custom registration page for your membership levels using the wishlist member if you like this video please give me a like and also please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create similar videos every single week thank you so much and see you in the next video bye for now